Salman and Kamala Mutando. Today, my friend Ramanda, tonight, um, is premiering her first big baby um, as a filmmaker, as a documentary maker. It's called Sex and Pleasure. Um, so she gathered a bunch of her close people. I'm that, okay? Um, <laughs> and she is premiering the the show it's on show max you can definitely check it out it's out now um and i'm going to be seeing it for the very first time super excited um when she started the project i was still working with her at idea can you guys know her you know her you've seen her i'll link up a video up here of where you remember her from um and yeah i'm so excited i'm so proud of her this is so exciting and inspiring also for me because we're in the same industry and i'm trying to tap into the same thing um so this is incredible this is really cool it shows me that it's possible um people who are my peers are are doing amazing things and it just i'm hoping it rubs off on all of us um so but this is not about me it's about her and it's about the show so let's go check it out a show also on Tromax about sex in South Africa and it, it specifically just took um, the perspective of a certain group of people and so I was just so frustrated and I think I walked away from it like feeling like a where I didn't see myself as a South African and B I feel like this is a dead little secret that I just watched and that's not sex you know what I mean um, and so I was like I went on Twitter and I was like, what are people saying about the show? And then I heard South Africans say, this is nothing new, we do this all the time. Where's our representation? Also, where's queer sex? Um, so yeah, I was like, okay, there's something here and the people want more. So I was like, mm, I wonder if they're gonna make a season two, but let me try. And so the ideas just came and um, I slid into Kim Van Vogel's DMs, who's a queer, um, queer activist, she's in the sexual reproductive health space, she's also a pleasure activist. So I was like, okay, I need a wide variety of people and I don't have access to everyone. So I was like, let me tag team. And so we um, combined our superpowers and that's what you're gonna see. Like over eight weeks, you're gonna get to see South Africans talk about sex in terms of age, in terms of religion, spirituality and culture, which is a big thing, um, in terms of disabilities, in terms of sex work. There's a wide variety of things. So the first episode, which is out already, is the one we all know where it started. It's in our households. Gogo and your aunt never spoke about it. So yeah, that's what we discovered and was it's funny, it's fun, it's educational, it's informative, and it's really just a passion project for both of us. So I hope you guys enjoy and I'm excited. I'm nervous but I'm excited. with her a little bit behind the scenes to help put it together I'm actually in one of the episodes so I'm, I'm very nervous for that um, but yeah I think she she did well eventually seeing it to fruition is a great feeling knowing that somebody told you when there was still a, it was still an idea conceptualizing phase so watching her come full circle is quite gratifying actually and the slave plantation which is called capitalism is hectic <laughs> but I will have you done by 10 unless you choose to stay So, it's 
fucking talk about sex. So I grew up with my mom. Um, actually, I grew up with my grand. And old people don't talk about sex, honey. So I think, even with the masturbation, I think that's why um, I started so late exploring sex for myself, about self pleasure, is because I grew up with my grand. There are so many things that are valid. So many things that have been deemed inappropriate and taboo that have been swept under the rug for so long. I'm gonna say this to you and everyone in this room. Ramantha and Kim, over eight episodes, it's eight hours, in life, in the whole universe, in everything, tried to draw out what has been ignored, what has been vilified, and try to address it and make it valid. right now and I've got all my doors not locked. Jesus, turn it off. Okay, let's just lock some doors. Okay, cool. That's done. <laughs> um, but my windows and stuff are closed because it's a busy street. Um, this is Catherine and I wouldn't want anybody just, you know, get into the car snatching some things or pointing a gun at me because that's where we live in this country. Anyway, I digress. So, Ben's my girlfriend. Oh my God, I'm in my, like, someone said on TikTok, I'm in my lover girl era. Everything is, oh, my girlfriend this, my girlfriend that. That's me right now. She loves trying out new restaurants. And I love taking along. So... This restaurant is not necessarily new, but it's new to us because we've never been. So we're going to go check it out. It's in Rosebank. Mama something. I always forget. I never know the names of things. We're going to go check it out just now. Celebrate and see what it's about. And that's basically the vlog. Hey, speaking of celebrating, I did a TikTok the other day about... Um, it was like on the back burner of a video that Grace Agilori had posted about like sometimes you need to shut up about your good news until like it's baked and it's settled and it's just matter of fact because some people are not necessarily happy about your good news right and something happened to me where I told a friend about the thing that I'm celebrating um, and their response was shocking to me because this is a person that was praying with me praying for me for things to look up because I've just had like nothing but bad news for the past eight months and so for me to like excitedly share these news and for her to have a non it wasn't a non reaction it was a proper reaction which was like hey I don't want to hear this and she hung up on me so yeah um, if people are not gonna celebrate you, who's gonna celebrate you? You. So even though Benz and I are really using our celebrations as an excuse, um, it doesn't matter. We all celebrate until, until, until. So yeah, I'm just waiting for her to come down from the building and then we'll drive to Rosebank. Victory walk out of this place. <laughs> ah, my last coffee even, and it's free. Oh wait, you made some coffee, and we got some free coffee. Those of you have been really drinking a lot of coffee. Jim. How do you feel? Strange, but lighter. I 
I'm celebrating uh, the beginning and the end of an era. Why the space specific? It's just on my list. Nothing deep. And how do you feel so far about it? It's nice. I really like it. It's nice and fresh. It's giving Izobamnandi Kultelia Lana Nubuzawa Lana. The company is great. The music is good. Love the green. I think the green is still like low key my favorite color if I have to have my favorite color. We've ordered our cocktails. They have a special Negroni, but they call it a Tegroni. So that's going to have that. And I'm having some tequila based um, cocktail. Um, the, wait, the waiter asked me if I want to be naughty or if I want to drink it for for taste. Guess which one I picked. I've moved on to some dry rosé. Truly, I wanted either Riesling or a Moscato. I settled for for this instead. Maybe you give me this night. You whip up my appetite. Don't leave me in high and dry. Drinks. Alcoholics. Non-alcoholics. Food. Twenty minutes. Oh my God. Service. Ten. Music. Ambiance. Location. But you don't feel it. But you don't feel like there's still people around. You don't feel it. Company. Ten out of ten. Totally recommend. Please come here and have a good time. We had such an amazing time. Um, and it was a cool evening also, so I suppose that's it. I don't know, around right. like a Saturday hot uh, midday. Mm. Yeah, you have to sit somewhere else. Although there's umbrellas, so yeah. That's it from us. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I think that's it for me as well. Have a fantastic time wherever you are. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.